So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's video. That's right, the one you've been waiting for, the UFL in-depth review. We're going to be going over it all. All right, I sat down this weekend, folks, and I did play this game quite a bit. I didn't just play it for 10, 15, 20 minutes and then go, mm, not for me. I sat down and I honestly played it from like 9 till 2 in the morning, like a good 5, 6, 7, 8 hours. 15 or so matches, had a decent record, to be honest. I think I won about 13, lost 2. Um, and overall, folks, look, there's positives, there's negatives. This game in certain aspects is better than eFootball and EA FC. And in certain other aspects, it's not. Those are the facts. We're going to go over them. As you guys know, I just wing it. There's no real structure here, but I will try and keep the timestamps relevant. Uh, and I'm going to talk about it all because this is a new company, right? This is brand new. The future of this game ultimately determines where it's going to go, which direction. I know there's no career mode and people are going to want about that. But look, folks, let me tell you something real quick, okay? When a company comes out like this with a free-to-play model, it has to have an online aspect. Otherwise, it's not going to go anywhere. If this game does well online and the community feedback's good, they update the game, they fix the problems, etc., and there's actually some sort of longevity in it, you might see some offline content. But Strikers Inc., and think about it, they're not going to gamble all the resources they have to make a career mode, a master league, whatever you want to call it, and then no one plays it, right? If people are playing this online and they are enjoying it, people will play it offline. So you just think about that first before people start slagging this off like it's only online. I get it. I'm an offline guy, trust me. And this is why my opinion today might be different and probably will be from a lot of other people. I'll say right off the bat, and I'm going to actually play this video so you guys don't have to listen to me waffling on. Um, this isn't the best quality, by the way, in this video, because I, I was doing this, like, I literally just recorded this from the PS5 and then booted it up. I was trying to think what name I was going for. Have a look. Have a look at the name. It's brilliant. Um, but the quality is going to get better. So, yeah, we're going to first of all, just talk about the actual UI. Then I'm going to get into the gameplay. Uh, and kind of go from there. I couldn't even figure out what name I wanted, but uh, there it is. TTB Pants FC. I thought it worked well, uh, and the abbreviation was quality. So as you boot the game up, right, you're introduced with four players. Most people are going to pick Ronaldo. I saw a few people with Kevin De Bruyne, um, but for the most part, everyone's picking Cristiano, as you would expect. And then you pick your formation like you would in Ultimate Team, and then they give you some players, and they're not the best. The thing about this game, folks, you're not really going to see a ton, um, you know, of like the actual gameplay playing better until you have better players. When you first boot the game up and you're given a Mickey Mouse team, they don't feel very good. Um, and I will admit, when I started getting better players and I did buy, uh, what's, who's the, who's the centre back at Tottenham? Van der, Van der Fahrt. It's not him, but he's the quick one. I bought him. He's very good, very fast. Obviously, I had Ronaldo. I bought um, a couple of other players. You'll see them afterwards. Um, and my team was all right at the end of it. So first things first, folks. Talk about the controls, right? Let's start right there on the control scheme. I went through here and I was looking at them and they're a little bit odd, some of them. I, I personally changed after I played a few matches and I didn't like it. I changed R1 which is, um, you know, teammate contain to square. And I changed tackling and push and all that nonsense to R1. Because I'm just so used to eFootball, I really couldn't stand it. And, the, you know, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay yet because I kind of want to do want to keep this structured. Um, but the gameplay is like, the defending is very manual, but the attacking on this game is extremely assisted. I don't like that. You guys, are like, you know me, I want games to feel manual. I don't want them to be on rails, and that is one of my issues I have with this game. Um, but look, all the controls are very much taken from FIFA, all right? And I know people are going to say, oh, it's just a copycat. Look, folks, there's nothing wrong. And Konami, I'm talking to you directly here. There's nothing wrong with taking content, ideas from other games and putting them in yours. Even if you copy the control scheme, because to be honest, it's going to make it a lot easier for other people to transition from one game to the next. So yes, UFL does have very similar control schemes to another game, I know. But for the most part, the controls are decent. They don't all seem relevant though. I mean, I tried a lot of the a lot of the the 
you know, the skill moves and that. Yeah, the ball roll is a bit abusive and some of the skill moves are. There's, you know, there's definitely things that Strikers Inc. have to do on the control side where they need to try and balance the game out. The ball roll, I remember I was watching Barry play it on day one of the beta and people are just abusing the ball roll because it's so easy to do. You know, you just whip the analog stick to the right or left and they roll the ball past you and you're through on goal. So trying to find a balance there maybe with the controls. Um, but overall, they were fine. All I did, as I said, was I changed uh, teammate contained to square and tackle to R1 and it worked out better for myself. But, you know, do what you need to do. I did turn off cross play. I wasn't dealing with that. Just wanted to play against PS5 people. And, um, you know, I went through the menus. But unfortunately, folks, no assistant settings. That's my big pet peeve on this game right now. You, you just have to play what the game's given you. And I don't like that. Even on EAFC, when I put the game on, I do like that though, um, I turned off all the assistants because once again, I want to feel the game for what it's meant to be. Turn off the assist and play the game. Play footballs. But unfortunately, look, society's changed and I will show you some matches where I played against FIFA people. They're playing a 4-2-4, all attacking, just hold down sprint and just run, run, run. It's, it's hilarious. Uh, but there's also what I don't do online anymore, folks, because I just, I can't find people who actually know how to play football. As I said, I think my record was 13 to 2 or 12 to 2 or something. I'm not the best player, but I try and play football. Anyway, so there's the menus. As I said, I love this. Honestly, this is something that, and, and you know why I enjoyed this game, folks? It was something new. It's not the gameplay. It's nothing to do with that. It wasn't that the gameplay was, oh, this is amazing. No, it was something fresh. And I know EA has this, right? So yes, people are going to come in and say, well, Ricky, EAFC has all this stuff, right? I don't play that game. You guys know me. I prefer this gameplay to EAFCs. I know that's terrible to say because it's a beta, but like the actual core mechanics, I'm saying, not the physics. The physics need work. We'll talk about that. But like the actual core mechanics of the game, like the dribbling is more realistic than what EA have because of their frostbite engine it's a mess so yeah I love the menus I, you know the challenges Konami once again go in here and steal this now UFL are giving you a nice little incentive and a nice little uh hands-on impression here about of the game and, and do stuff like this make the game look modern sleek entertaining to look at and you're not going to get bored with it after five minutes you know, all this, you know, this is pretty much the battle pass, right? So you go in here and you can buy new stuff. I did start using a lot of points and coins and everything. I don't know if you're going to get nearly as much, um, whatever they call this, rep points and stuff in the actual final game, or they're just giving us a lot of content right now because you've only got three days to play it, which is probably the case. So I was spending a lot of my points afterwards. I realized, well, hang on a minute. Uh, let's just spend them. I was trying to see if I could play local player. You needed two players for that. I did actually try out afterwards just because, once again, I wanted to just try the mechanics of the game itself before I get into a match and I embarrass myself. Um, so I dived into a match. I'm not going to show you this video, though, because it's not, honestly, it's not the best when it comes to, like, the quality, as I say. This was the guy's team. And... Uh, yeah, this was literally my first match. So, you know what? Let's get into it. I will show you this opening game, and then we'll dive into the next one. Um, but it's going to be a little bit laggy and not very smooth frame rate-wise. Frame rate the commentary, right? It's a bit naff and hilarious at times. Sometimes I did say the wrong formations, among other things. But honestly, it didn't really bother me. I turned the commentary off half the time anyway, um, as we kind of get into the gameplay here so straight away i tried out the dribbling right i said let me see how this feels and i'm not gonna lie folks right this is the thing with the way i'm gonna view this game and other people are if you still play pez the, the dribbling is gonna feel more like pez if you play eFootball, you're probably not gonna like the dribbling because it's gone back to the more old school ways where it's slower and dumbed down if you like EAFC's dribbling, then you are absolutely going to hate this dribbling because it's not, you know, super turbo mentalness uh, that EA has on their game with the frostbite and all that. So I actually didn't mind the dribbling, and that's where it's controversial. As I say, some people aren't going to like it, and some people are. 
the sprinting is is very interesting because as soon as you press r2 with any player it doesn't matter who it is they're going to take a massive a massive touch and once again though i didn't necessarily hate it because i think you need to try and stop people from abusing sprint and then this way if you do hit that sprint button too early all the time it does give the opposition a chance to at least get that ball back from you uh, and then, you know, start playing again. So you're trying to find a balance. Now, if we're going to talk about the passing, folks, this is where this game gets a little bit all over the place. It's two on rails, right? And that is my biggest problem with this game right now. There is no real freedom. I honestly never looked at my power bar once. I didn't even have to. Um, you know, and you guys know me. I don't like assisted games. I can't stand them. I like to turn them off and play manual. But this game doesn't offer anything like that. So UFL, I, I don't know which direction you're taking this game. Once again, that's where it's, it is me. This is not necessarily what other people want. But it does feel too on rails when it comes to attacking. Defending, on the other hand, is a completely different kettle of uh, fish. Is that the word? You know, you actually have to try and defend... Um, and try and block the shots. Now, there isn't any type of matchup button. As you can see here, all I'm trying to do is block. And I, I you know, I learned that from playing eFootball. Use the jockey and just kind of see what happens. Um, the through balls as well are kind of a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. They like go super fast and then they just slow down. It's almost like you're playing this match on AstroTurf or carpet at times. And the ball just slows down way, way too fast. So I do believe the physics and that in this game needs some, some serious TLC. Uh, tender loving care, if you guys don't know what that means. But here is a chance. Yeah, it was a good shot off Ronaldo. And then, yeah, that wasn't a great shot there. So the physics need some work. The through balls need work. I want to see this game being more manual than it is right now when it comes to attacking. I think defensively it's okay. But I do feel like there needs to be maybe another button in there. Where sort of like a matchup button. Not automated though. There is a little bit of automation in this game, right? There is. I did notice that. And I think you've got to kind of have that in this day and age. Um, so yeah, you're, you know, the AI will try and help you out if needed. But not anywhere near to the level uh, of what eFootball is going to give you. That's That game's way too automated for me. Uh, and kind of needs to tone it down. That's why I'm saying like there's aspects of this game I enjoy. But there's aspects of eFootball, like the physics in eFootball, the physics in EAFC are far superior to this game. But I like the defending mechanics of this. And I also kind of, as I said, I don't mind the dribbling. I think it does need some work. Um, but I, but I, you know, I like Pez. So once again, my, my opinion is going to differ from a lot of people. So take mine as you want. I'm just being honest with you. I didn't hate this game, right? It didn't blow me away by any stretch. It did not blow me away, but I think it was more of a case that it was simply something fresh, something new. Um, there was my first goal. A lot of rebounds goals as well, and I do feel like this is purely down to, once again, the game being far too assisted. Um, so, like, when you're doing R1 finesse shots, they're a little bit oh, too, uh, too OP for me. I will show you a match afterwards where I took on a guy who had Vinny Jr., and he, he absolutely annihilated a, a top bins R1 finish. I did it with a few players. And that was like, okay, this is a little bit too much now. It's the same move over and over again. But because this game is very assisted, right? People don't have to do a lot of uh, aiming. If you actually have to aim your finishes and your strikes, I really think this game would excel a hell of a lot more if you're turned off the assist. But it will, it will push a few people away, okay? My personal take on this is if you like EAFC, you're going to love this game. I do feel like if they polish this up a lot more by the time it comes out, they will take a lot of EA customers and they will come and play this game. And the reason being is it's different. It's fresh. The skins are something unique. There's some challenges to do. There's content to play online. And, um, you know, it is quite FIFA-esque right now because of the assistance problem. So UFL, if you are watching, please have some sort of a, an assistant setting i mean you don't have to do it at launch but think about it like have assisted have semi and manual copy fifa on that front as well try and find something there because i really would want to try and play this game if you just turned on manual and see how it works when it isn't on rails 
I think that's the biggest problem. Another problem with this game, I would say, is um, you don't need to do a whole lot of passing. You only need X and maybe triangle. Like, you know, switching is kind of pointless. It doesn't really do a whole lot. Crossing the ball in doesn't do a whole lot. Um, the headering, you know, the heading of the players sometimes was a little bit weird. Sometimes they just jump like that in a straight line. I know it's a beta, so there's things to work on, of course, and they're, they're going to have to work on them. But right now with this game, you only need X to pass and through ball. And that's it when it comes to attacking. And then a few skill moves, you just play around with the analog stick and, you know, Bob's your uncle. So they really kind of got to work on the other aspects. I want to be able to switch the pass and actually make use of different commands as opposed to just having a one-trick pony. It's, it's not that exciting. As you can see here from the defending, you know, I'm trying to hold my shape. And that's the thing. The way I play this game might look completely different to the way that someone else plays it. Because I'm going to try and play football. I've always tried to play football. I'm not one of these, you know, up and coming generations. Uh, look at that, Bender. And then look, that. see, that happened a lot. But once again, that's also down to the goalies not being very good. You have to build your team up in this game to start seeing the game being a little bit better, a little bit more reactive uh, overall. And um, yeah, so, oh yeah, by the way, I never even finished, I think, my first three games because every single person after I scored the second goal left. I was like... Dude, it's a beta. Just play the game. Who cares if you lose? God, blimey. All right, so I'm going to start whipping out some other content for you. So here is the bender from Vinny Jr. And it's going to look way better now behind. Um, so watch this goal. This guy had a very, very stacked team. I know my, this, my content's gone all over the place again. I have no structure with these videos. I just start talking and waffling uh, and giving you my thoughts. So anyway, he got the ball out wide here with Vinny. And I mean, he is a quite a way out here. And all he does is, look, bang. And it looked nice and it sounded good. I'm not going to lie. The net physics look nice. The ball sound does. It sounds exactly like FIFA yet again with the when the ball hits the net. But there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, borrow content. Um, I actually did want to watch the replay, but he wouldn't let me. I think I got one right back, actually. Watch this. So this is another thing, like... It seems like it is a little bit too easy sometimes to kind of, you know, just walked it in through the legs, through the pie hole. And there we go. So that was 1-1. One, one. I said, you score one, mate. I'll score one right back as well. Thank you very much. Um, all right, let's move on a little bit further. Oh, this was a, a Ronaldo free kick. Well, it's not going to look like that, is it? You know why? Because it's gone green. All right, let's whip on. So this, um, so check this out. See, it happened a lot. This shot. It's too much. They need to tone this down. So, so this R1 bender is pretty much the most OP thing you can play right now when it comes to finishing. Um, so he gave me a free kick with Cristiano Ronaldo. Once again, this is all borrowed from FIFA. I know they're using the same mechanics. Um, and have a look at it. I scored a free kick, lads. I was like, caught blimey, son. He didn't even let me see the free kick as well, which was a bit harsh. Um, but there we go. Fantastic. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys some... Uh, I don't know why it keeps going green. Sling it. Um, I'm going to show you guys some matches against some actual proper opponents. So, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to have timestamps now because we're all over the place again. Um, so, anyway, this is the skins, right? Now, the thing that I do like about this is it's purely cosmetic. You're going to get more experience points and rep points and stuff but it doesn't affect the actual player himself. But it does give your team a custom look. Now, I'm, as you guys know, I'm not an online guy. I don't really care about cards and picking cards and stuff. But there was something about this game. I think, as I mentioned, it was just new. It was something fresh. And the transfer market is actually quite interesting. So, you know, I did quite enjoy sitting there at night just buying and building up a team. So there's my team. Um, so, yeah, I did whack that skin on uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. But, so that that's my team right there. After playing, you know, three or four hours. It wasn't a bad little team. Um, we've got Ezazuli, what's his name, on the left uh, the left wing. Di Maria, uh, Bentaleb, Condogbeer in there with Jolington, Van de Ven. That's the one at the back there. He was, I wanted to try Van de Ven. 
because I wanted to see how good he was pace-wise and his reactions, and he was a hell of a lot better than the default players. And that's why you, you, this is my thing with this game. If you if you booted it up, play one or two matches, and said that's it, I don't want to play it anymore, you're not going to like it. You've got to invest some hours to get the players better, and then notice, okay, my team isn't complete useless now. Um, Loco, by the way, is a free agent. You can actually go to the transfer market and get free agents, whether you guys knew that or not. And there were a few little players that were worth snapping up. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like the, the, the concept of this game when it comes to actually the UI and also the customization. Like, you can go in here and buy boots, put them on players and balls and gloves, buy new stadiums, of course. Yes, EAFC, very much the same. But you can't do it in eFootball. So it's like... You know what would be the best scenario right now? Like, take the, the UI and all the challenges and everything and the customization of this, put it in eFootball, and you've got a decent game there. You know, eFootball still needs to, I think, slow down and it's gone a little bit too fast. But you'd have the good making. So, yeah, Konami really needs to look at this game and, and take a lot away from them. Um, so, anyway, we're going to go into the next match. Let's see. It didn't take me long, by the way, to... Um, to find opponents uh, you know i know it is a new fresh beta so there's a lot of people online a uh, nice little at the beginning so this was this guy here he is i think this might be the match so you're already seeing that there were some good teams out there ronaldo and mbappe up top he had Vinny on the left hand side townsend on the right rafa rabio um and yeah his team was definitely a little bit better than mine uh, as a whole so let's dive into the action. Now, graphically, folks, I mean, it looks all right. It definitely could, you know, look worse. I was playing on the OLED uh, in the old living room. But the, the turf's nice and lush. And uh, I think some of the players look fantastic. Some of them a little bit poorer than others. Um, but I'm going to show you a full match right now. Let's talk about it. Let's go over it. Um, and, uh, you know, the way I like to play, as I say, a little bit possession, maybe try and work things around. My defending wasn't still great. I'm not great at defending in these games, but no one is. There it is again. This guy, I think he was adamant. He obviously knew that R1 was an abusive way to finish. But I did pick up a pretty tall goalie. He was about six foot six. That's a good move. So, you know, what with him being a lot taller, he made a lot of the saves. I will admit as well, folks, there isn't a lot of midfield in this game. There isn't. There's absolutely no midfield. Um, you can go from back to front. So this is where this game needs to be addressed. I just feel like if they turned off the assistance, turned it down and dumbed it down more, it would be better. People would actually have to work their way up the field because all you have to do at the moment is hold X as hard as you can and pump it up to the front man and it will go right to his feet. It's like a laser-guided missile. Um, so, yeah, that is what I really want UFL to focus on. But if that's not the way they want it, there we go. R1 again. Try it again and again and again. Um, so, yeah, tone that down too, please, lads. But if that's not the direction that, you know, um, strikers didn't want to go with this game and they want it to be fully assisted, it, you know, it won't be for me in the long run. I, I, I'll play it a little bit, but I'll get bored of it. Now, this match, actually, I do believe this was a this was a tale of two halves. The connection was a little bit, mm, as you can see by the top, there's like a three-bar connection, and I definitely felt it. The first half here, I got absolutely annihilated. I'm pretty sure this guy was all over me and had about 50 chances because my players were just not reacting like they were in the other matches. But then in the second half, it was a completely different match. Like, my players were reacting. So once again, down to connection, and that's always going to be the risk when it's, you know, online always, and, uh, you know, you're having to play against different people. So he's working it forward. I don't think he, he doesn't score, actually, because I think my goalie was on some sort of superhuman juice mode. Um, here he comes again. He was a big whopper, this guy. What was his name? Duar? Duar. What a name. But once again, every single time, just let's try. That's why you know you're up against a FIFA guy when they're just doing the same FIFA tactics over and over and over again. Oh, dear. So, yeah, all over me this half. And I was just trying to survive. I'm trying to defend. The defending is very difficult. I'm not going to lie. But that's where UFL and Strikers Inc. have still got to find a balance here because it's not balanced right. You know, attacking is far too assisted. I'm going to keep mentioning it. And defending is very manual. 
I mean, it's got to be. I think you've got to you've got to have it both ways. Have them both manual. You know. <laughs> Did it again. But look, every single time. But obviously, as I said, I picked a good goalie. He was a rate, you know, he was rated about a 79, 80. And he was able to make those saves. But to be fair, like the goalkeeping animations aren't bad. Uh, there were a few moments where I saw the goalies making some very interesting and odd uh, decisions. But once again, we are in a beta. And look, uh, I know I'm not even going to mention the eFootball beta, but we all saw that mess when it came out, right? So you can't even sit here and slag this game off that much. Um, but yeah, I had a nightmare this half. I couldn't control me players. It was an absolute mare. Here he goes again. Another bender coming up. Um, he just couldn't finish. Goalie kept saving it. I don't know what I was doing there. I said, I'm going for a run because I've had enough. Um, so away we go. Now watch the switches on. I went for that, but that's far too floaty for me. They've got to fix those mechanics. And then we had a chance here. I think I scored this. No, I didn't score this one. It's all right, so let's just push on. Right, half time, right? Look at that. One attempt to nine. Absolutely annihilated. So, also the tactics. We haven't spoke about tactics either. If you see on the left-hand side, and I'm sure I'm going to go through them at some point, you can choose between balance, defensive, and attacking. Once again, these are all taken from EAFC. But there's more things to do on this game than you can do in eFootball. Again, eFootball has been dumbed down, where this game, they're giving you the luxury to do things. If you want your centre forward to stay forward, you can do it. If you want the centre back to stay back, you can do it. Full backs push forward. There's a lot of intricate things you can do in this game that you can do in other games. So once again, it's filling a void, I feel. But there still needs a lot of work to be done. So let's have a look at this. Now, the second half, as I said, was completely different for me. My midfielders actually wanted to actually work this half and do something. So, yeah, we just started working it, tried to whip it in. Said so the crossing mechanics for me, a little bit all over the place sometimes. I, I, I don't really know what happened there. Um, that's where, you know, those little bugs are going to happen. You can watch, watch, I think it's Condogbia here, just comes in and just sort of forget. It, it, the player switching didn't change accordingly. Anyway, now he gets a, a chance to go forward. And again, those through balls, they're just, they're kind of pointless. They don't do a whole lot and they slow down way too fast. Um, but here we go, possession, right? Get it out wide, Latombia, up the line, Di Maria, Condogbia, inside to Bentaleb. And what, this guy had a left foot on him. I scored a couple of those with him. And, uh, yeah. Boo! No one ever lets you see the replays, by the way. So there's no, you know, there's no sportsmanship in these games. Or well, half the time, I don't even watch the replays because I feel bad about it. Uh, he had Kylian Mbappe, but as you can see, Loco even was quick enough to keep up to him. Uh, and away we go again. So we'll work this around to uh, Condogbia. Flicks it on. Di Maria. I mean, Di Maria was relatively cheap. Up the line. There we go. But yeah, you can tell when you play against some of these players, they're, they're in that that FIFA mode, aren't they? Where they just want to high press you and gun, gun ho all the time. And that's not going to work on this game. You can keep the ball relatively well. Um, but it depends. I mean, there's Van der Ven there trying to get involved. I mean, he had very good reactions and like that. Just blocking the ball was the best way, I felt to just try and stop and eradicate that. Um, here was Cristiano Ronaldo. There it is, R2. That's why R2, I'm like, I'm for and against it because I know what they're trying to probably do is eradicate people that just want to hold sprint all the time, you know? And then if you take that really heavy touch, it kind of makes you think twice before just hitting that sprint button, which is what I started to do. I didn't, I didn't really use sprint a ton unless the space was there. Other than that, I was just doing the old casual dribbling uh, and trying to keep possession. So he gets the ball out wide. But yeah, look at the second half here compared to the first. I felt in control. Players are doing what they needed. That was a little bit fortunate. Uh, here comes Di Maria. Obviously, Ronaldo's inside. I didn't need to take that sprint there. I should have cut back inside. But it doesn't look terrible, does it? You know, as I said, if they just made it less on rails, which is my biggest problem with this game, it would be so much better. People would hate it. I know they would because they'll be like, oh, my passes aren't going to the right players. Look, in UFL, what you need to do, put a tiny little arrow underneath the players so you know where you're aiming and do it that way. 
Doesn't need to be a massive circle like they got in eFootball and all that. Just a little arrow so you know where you're aiming. And then that way, we can control where the ball goes. Now, as I mentioned, they need to work on these physics, folks. They are miles away from being realistic in any sense. The passing, the through balls, it's like you're playing on carpet. Um, so there's definitely, definitely things that need to be addressed regarding the physics. Um, but overall, as I said, I enjoyed it, I think, because it was something fresh and, and interesting and different. But we'll see what they do. Uh, you know, keep giving your feedback. And, and actually, like, you know, passes like that, they, they just look, they, they, they look ridiculous. Like right here, this pass. Boom. Just like, it, it's also as well, they're passing the balls with the wrong foot. Like they're passing with their left foot when they should be doing a, you know, a side foot pass. They're playing with the outside of the foot this way. And like, once again, he's playing with the outside of the foot. So just addressing them. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill this game. If you guys honestly thought I was gonna sit here and just ridicule this game, I'm not doing it because if this was a Konami product or an EAFC product, maybe it's different because they've they've got the knowledge and the know-how. I know this game has been in development a long, long time, but a closed beta is no way near the same as an open. Ooh, where's that R1 again? Yeah, you need to do something about that, UFL. You can't press R1 more than like four times and a half. No, you can't have mechanics like that. It kind of ruins the experience, but something, you know, something like that. Um, I know Spoonie as well. Look, listen, well, let me just get into what I was going to say. So anyway, we won that match 1-0. Second half was all over him. First half was a joke. Um, let's go ahead here and run another match that I had right here. And I'm going to show you guys also the transfer market um that they have now the transfer market is interesting because as you can see at the top right here these rp points is what you need to get some of these players so you can't just come in here and buy mbappe and Vinny and all those players without playing the game for a while and getting more rep points which I'm not hating. I actually quite like it because it feels like a sense of progression, not just, oh, let's buy this player, this player, this player. Also, the transfer market is very in-depth. There's 4,000, I think, plus players, nearly 5,000 to choose from. The skins are an interesting concept, one that I had no idea what I was doing at first, but over time, uh, I actually quite like them just because it it's not, it's not a gimmick, as in it's not going to give you a massive advantage or any advantage all it does is it makes your team look pretty and it gives you more experience points so maybe you progress faster but it's not going to harm your opponent when you play against them i was hoping i could go through the customization but i don't know if i did uh in these videos but anyway as i was mentioning they are a brand new company it is a beta and the closed beta is completely different to the open right they've got millions of people now playing this game as opposed to just a few thousand and when you've got millions of people they're all going to give you your feedback. And it's going to come from all walks of life. As I said, if FIFA people are playing this, they probably don't want it less assisted. I do. So for me, if I want to play this game, I want to see the assistance level nerfed way, way down. Or at least give us the option to. And then when we play people, let us play a manual only match against other manual players. And maybe we get more XP if we do that. Or more points or more this, more that. But as I mentioned, I don't know the direction that Strikers Inc. is going. It's up to them. They've got, to f they've got to get this game out and they've got to make money from it because if they don't, this company won't last and there won't be an offline mode because no one's going to be playing it, right? Think about it. Now, Spoonie's review, I did saw or see, should I say, better grammar, uh, and he was talking about input lag. Now, I do get that. And the thing about this game is it is almost like it has that Pez element of like input lag where it does take a little bit of time sometimes with the dribbling. But I know what they're trying to do. I don't know if it's just part of the game or it's the mechanic. Because remember, once you speed things up and everything becomes super, super responsive, that's when you get a super arcade game. This is why Pez was never the most reactive game input wise. We learned to develop, you know, that habit after a while, where in pairs you know that you have to press the button maybe a slightly bit earlier because that's the way the game's designed. 
But I don't mind it. And that's it. That's what I don't mind. I mean, it was bad at certain times and other times it was better. Um, I think this was actually the match that we didn't see. Everyone seemed to have Vinny Jr. Uh, he's got Pal Torres at the back there as well. And... Um, yeah, we're going to dive right back into some more gameplay. But I really did like the customization as well. I, I thought that was a nice little added touch. You know, just being able to give your every player his own unique set of boots. Stuff like that. Goalie gloves. The specific goalie gloves just for a player and uh, obviously the keepers themselves. Yeah, the stadiums. You can actually ask the stadiums as well, by the way. If you only wanted to play nighttime matches, you can turn that on. If you want to play nighttime and daytime and have it randomized, you can do that too. So, yeah, a good amount of customization, a good amount of content and challenges and stuff to do for a beta, to be fair. Um, and the gameplay was all right. You know, if I'm going to rate this beta out of 10, like, actually, like, the gameplay, I'm still... I'm only really going to give the gameplay around a 5. I'm not, I'm not going to give it anything higher than that. Um, because, it, you know, it isn't my cup of tea at, at its current state certain elements are once again every bloody person you play against uh, certain elements are as i said i don't actually mind the dribbling but the passing the through balls the switch of play the physics themselves a lot of work needs to be done uh, there's no real midfield you could just go from back to front that's why when i was playing one guy he was playing a 4-2-4 it was like i'm playing eafc why has everyone got to play football games the same way Play football, not ping pong. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm going to show you this one more match. This is going to be a long video, but I, you know, I'm putting it out here for you guys to sit and watch and, you know, make your own mind up. Obviously, if you couldn't get to play it, I apologize. It wasn't available, I think, in every single region. Uh, but right here, look, dribbling once again, taking your time, and he made a good challenge. Fair enough. But I'm just, I'm trying to hold the shape and ultimately play this game like a football match. If you want to play this game super high tempo, you can. If you want to slow it down, you can. It's all, it's all walks of life. But the passing is still far too assisted. I'm going to keep mentioning it because it is my biggest pet peeve. But I think most people know that. Um, you really don't even have to look at the pass bar. You can just go around and press pass and the ball will go to the right player. Here was Ronaldo lining up the finish. Keeper made a decent save there. Let's go further forward a little bit more. I will admit, like, the servers as a whole, the, the connection's far superior than what uh, you're getting on eFootball. I, I played, you know, a good 15 or so games, and I never really had a problem. That was a nice little finish. I said the net physics look nice. And once again, R1 is too OP uh, and needs to be sorted. Got that celebration of the old Squidworth fish. So, a goal to the good. And uh, here we go. And I, yeah, as I mentioned, I don't like to high press. I don't. I like to, I actually want to let people play football and try and break me down. You know, what you got in your arsenal, son? Now, let's have a look here. A little bit of a deflection there. And it's to do well with Kondogbia. Kondogbia was all right. Not a bad little player. Well, he's not that little. Uh, we got the ball down here and then like, like that. I mean, I, I don't know what on earth happened there. <laughs> <laughs> let's watch that again but yeah i think i pressed triangle and it just went dong, straight to ronaldo um a little touch there to get it out the feet and cristiano just showing you what he's all about there's a finish probably offside it wasn't and yeah i should have been leading this match by two or three nil at this point and once again winning the ball back there comfortably comes back to angel di maria and we'll start again we'll work this around you know, I did try R1 and circle to try and do the um, more of a fizzed pass, but it just, I don't know, as I said, it just felt off. The physics are definitely what is uh, making this game feel a little bit weird. But like the core, the actual core game has potential. There's potential here, folks. You know, this is the Unreal Engine. This is actually a proper Unreal Engine game. If you guys don't know, eFootball is not running on the Unreal Engine. It's only using that for animations and, you know, cutscenes and certain other aspects. Whereas this game is full, I believe, Unreal Engine mode. You know, the whole skatiness. I mean, the way the players move on the field is far superior than EAFC's product. But that's because we know EAFC's Frostbite is complete ass. I mean, it's as simple as that. So, 
yeah, the foot planting, I don't really have a problem with it. I know someone mentioned I was going to go on about the skatiness, but honestly, I don't... I'm trying not to really care about that too much anymore because every game has it. I did see some clipping and all the other instances because that's part of life and it's going to exist anyway. That was an interesting shot. Um, and, and I say that because if you actually watch this, right, and I'm going to slow this down, you put this playback to... Uh, slower when you watch this that, that's 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 not slower lads that's exactly the same slower right so watch this when he saves this it actually hits his shoulder and it's like he he kind of puts his arm at it which was kind of cool but it was also like i don't think that was meant to happen i feel like he probably should have just put his hand there but like you know, the fact that he actually noticed the ball was there and, you know, it's again, potential. Doesn't look terrible. Looks decent. All right, let's get back to uh, the normal speed. And yeah, a few people did love the old short corners. There's my... <laughs> Goalie went straight through the player there. Uh, but yeah. You know, you're going you're gonna to see bugs. You're going to see glitches. Perfectly normal. All things considering it is a beta. Uh, but honestly, I mean, that's all I can really say. I would have liked to show the customization. I don't think I have anything for that. Let me know your thoughts below. On your thoughts, obviously. All right, folks, so we're going to wrap this up. Uh, I actually accidentally hit mute while I was recording this. So the last two minutes, I've been talking to myself. Luckily, it was only two minutes and not 40 minutes. Uh, but yeah, just to wrap this up, I wanted to show you guys this different camera angle that I was playing on as well. A nice little bend finish as well from Ben Taleb. The guy's an absolute beast, apparently, at bending him. So, um, yeah, we'll finish off with that. But I actually quite like that. Like, the dribbling with this guy it looks natural. I don't really hate the dribbling. But I know some people... This is what I mentioned. If you like Pez and you're in your Pez ways still, you're not going to mind the dribbling. If you like eFootball's dribbling and EAFC's dribbling, you're not going to enjoy this because it is a slower kind of pace, you know? So... But yeah, I actually quite enjoyed that goal. Just worked it around. Once again, patience. Take your time and play football. And you can play football on this. But yeah, anyway, UFL, Strikers Inc. You've got potential here, lads. Just work on the physics. And please have some sort of a semi-assistance or no assistance. It would be fantastic. And, uh, and I really think it would open up the game more. I think it's two on rails when you're attacking. And ultimately, that is a problem. Um... Because you're going to... I mean, I had one match. It was like 4-4. Four, four, I think it was like 5-3, five, 5-4. Five, it was just two back and forth. And that's what's going to happen with this game when there's too many top teams. Like, when you're playing with the lower teams, you're not going to have that. But, like, when you're actually playing with teams that are stacked, when everyone's got Mbappe and everyone's got De Bruyne and all the best players, that's when this game gets going to fast and fast and faster. And then you're going to start seeing those ridiculous scores. So, yeah, I really think turning down the, the assistance would help that fact. Um, people will learn to live with it, right? Deal with it. Learn to be good at passing and you'd enjoy the game more. All right. Anyway, until next time. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. I know it's a long one, but I kind of went back and forth all over the place. But those are my impressions and take care.